everybody, this is Kamar Skunk. Welcome to my channel, Double Stripe Racing, and to my stream on Mixer, same name, Double Stripe Racing. I'm your host, driver, and current moron at large, who still needs a straitjacket, still needs to be put in a rubber room somewhere for even attempting what I'm doing. I'm racing in Forza 3, the one's taking place in Australia, Forza Horizons 3, and I'm racing on the largest course here on the game called Goliath. It's approximately 25 to 28 miles long, and what I'm doing is I'm taking every single car I have in my garage, going from A to Z, going all the way down the list, doesn't matter what it is, if it's a cruiser car, hot rod, uh, rail job, hot wheel, super car, or bubble car everybody makes fan of, I take it on the track and I race it. Uh, they're all mainly stock, except better tires, race brakes, springs, and sometimes a race transmission and all-wheel drive, but no work has been done to the engine. The engines are basically stock as they come out of the factory. All those other additions are actually helping me during the race to keep the car in better control and see if I'm able to make it through the race or not. Um, unless they're dedicated cars like Camaros or Mustangs, and they'll stay rear-wheel drive. But obviously the higher performance cars like the Ferraris and Lamborghinis, you know, of course, they're going to be all-wheel drive just so I could drive the things. Instead of watching me doing donuts everywhere and wasting everybody's time, I don't want to do that. So, uh, like I said, let's continue on the cars. I just got done racing the Camaros and the Corvettes now. Now I have a Chevy Impala, but this is going to be my one of my major muscle cars that I built actually for drifting. I'm going to keep it the way it is, you know, that I have it set. So I'm not going to do anything funky on it to try and make it better or worse on the track here than it already is just sitting in my garage. So I'm going to grab it. But before I do, let me show you a little trick that I do. Go to progress. Well, not that. Go to skill shop. In progress. Hit that. Go to the middle button, skills. Follow my cursor up and to the left. You always want to have that button clicked and ready to go. It'll cost 10 points. But you're able to race three races, and as you race, you get triple the skill point XP that you get for the race. And that's almost a third of your total XP that you get. It adds up pretty quick. So if you do a 5 lap race, 10 lap race, 25 lap race, or heaven forbid a 50 lap race, you'll be here for eight and a half hours if you do that. Believe me, I've watched somebody do it, and they got to be part machine. They're incredible. But anyway, you see I still have one more race left, so I'm going to use that. And go back here to set up event. Sorry, it's been a bit of a long day. Um, I'm going to go here to exhibition. This is one of my races I just made. I have all the Horizon cars you can get that are in my garage. I don't have each Horizon car itself, but I do have some. And if you want to try them on the Goliath course, see if you like them, please do. Let me know if you do. Go here, one, two, third one over. This is John, uh, Don Joan Song's Goliath course, anything goes. You click that, and it's going to open up your garage. So what you want to do is, well, I'm going to go down to Chevy. You can choose any car you want. You know, of course, it's going to be in your garage. You know, I can't control what you use. Obviously not. All right, I'm going to choose my Impala, the 64. It's been lowered. It's been slammed. It's been all-wheel drived and big blocked and blown and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, let's see if I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this one coming up next. I do like these Impalas a lot. It's just if I ever get one, you'll have to have a manual transmission in it. Not quite as low as this one, but I'll have it, you know, running pretty good after I get done with it. Yeah, that's actually a 409. That's pretty rare. The only can make well, I think they had those in 61 through 64. That's the body style of it right there. The 60s and 61s were more bubble tops. And threes and fours were more square bodied. I just like how they look. I just think they look dynamite. Give me one of those cars or maybe even a wagon. I'll take a wagon. No problem with that. 
Alright, let's get this free skin. Yeah, you can see this one's all set up for racing, so... It's lower, has six gears in it. Yeah, I, I did a little bit more work to it than usual. Only because I like these cars so much. Sure, this thing's about as big as a land yacht, I tell ya. Yeah, this car's going to be real quick around this course here. It's probably not going to be like super car fast, but it's going to be pretty good. Yes, I'm going to have to be very careful with it. With it being a longer wheelbase than some of your other cars on here, it's going to handle a lot better too. The ride's going to be better. The longer the wheelbase, the better the ride, the better the handling, I feel. You're probably going to see a lot of sliding from me on this one. Now, whether I wreck or not, I can't promise, but I'm not a professional. I've got the, about the good racing reflexes as a drunk squirrel, or maybe your common house plan. I don't know, maybe that's for you guys to decide. But that's why the challenge is here is to be entertaining, to be funny, and somebody actually sucks at racing. He ought to take up knitting. Well, maybe so, but I gotta do something with my time. Besides, I love cars. I love racing them in these kind of you know racing games like Horizon. Horizon Motorsports is also really good. I do enjoy that one, but I do enjoy the Horizon better. But certainly, if somebody gives me a Horizon Motorsports game with Xbox One, I certainly will take it without comment or complaint. Believe me, I'll be very appreciative of it. That's why I also set up a Patreon page. If anybody wants to start donating to my channel, show a little bit of love, show a little bit of kindness, saying, Hey, it's going to be doing pretty good. Here's a dollar for you. Hey, I'll take it. No problem. And I get a donation from you, I'm going to make sure the channel is just as funny or even better for you. And if you do do a Patreon donation, follow my page to Patreon, Double Stripe Racing. And the more you give, the more benefits you get. And it goes up to the chance of you actually telling me what to do for my entire next stream I do, two and a half hours. Yeah, and that's for both cars, races, if you want to join me in a race. You have 10 friends of yours that want to join me in a race? Yeah. Just go to Patreon, pump down the cash, and you got yourself a deal on no problem with that. I mean, I'd love to see one of these Impalas all modified like this, taken on a road course like this. And you know what? I'd be crazy enough to drive it, too. is the Chrysler Charger that they have in Australia. That one that I have my two or three Datsuns. I have a Datsun Convertible and a Datsun 510. And those will be coming up next. Nice long slide for the big old Impala. Big old girl. I always did like the Impalas, I did. I even liked the 92 to 96 Impalas. Once people made into Impala SS from the Caprice, and the Caprice wagon with the Impala SS wheels and the Corvette engine and all that, yeah, I like it. I do. Get them geared up right. Get them geared up right for the highway. 
May do a five or six speed swap. Hello, Gerald. How are you? Saying Havana. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you're saying about the car, right? I think I got that right, didn't I? Yeah, you want to see how low this thing is. Let's see if I can do a quick sweep around it before I get around this little curve right here. And yes, Gerald, you are awesome. You are following my stream. There you go. There's a quick way around. How you like that trick? <laughs> Actually, I have the chat box on my screen here. And it's right in the middle on the upper part of the screen, so I'm able to still watch the race. Well, I'm trying to be a good driver. If you want to subscribe to my channel, uh, please do. I do appreciate it. You'll be hearing a lot more from me. My channel just got started. I'm going to be a lot like Phil Race, where, hey, if I fail during a race, you'll see it on YouTube, but I will not edit it out. It'll be for there for everybody to laugh and point at. I'm trying to be a good driver. I've just been on Forza 3 for about a month now. I really enjoy it. And like I said, I'm just doing a little project where I'm taking all my cars from my garage and I'm putting them up against quiet the way they sit. If they're sand rail racers or low riders or anything, uh, oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much, my friend. See that? You're a hero of the channel right now. I'd wave to you, but right now I'm a little bit busy with racing. <laughs> Come on, slide that big old girl around that curb. 409 blown big block. Yeah, that thing's got quite a bit of power. But also, the car weighs over two tons, so yeah, it's a yeah, it's that big. It's at least uh, 35, 3700 pounds. Oh, where are you watching from, Gerald? If I could ask. In the trees, in the trees, it's going to be bad. <laughs> now life, life is not bad. Not bad for now. Yeah, it's a little exciting, I guess you can say. Well, apart from Xbox, it's just normal, mundane, everyday life. I'm married with a daughter, and they enjoy watching Xbox as much as I like playing it, so. that Corvette. I think I'm actually able to catch up to him. I think it's a 53 Corvette the guy's racing. Alright, this next turn coming up is going to be pretty wicked, so hold on to your hats, hold on to your cats, hold on to your panties. Here you go. And how's life treating you? No, actually, I live in Clearham, Pennsylvania. I live about an hour and a half away from Philadelphia to the west. I live closer to Lancaster and Harrisburg, actually. There you go. Just must win that old girl right around the corner like that. Are you in Florida? My uh, grandma was from uh, West Palm Beach. A nice area. I haven't been down there since I was little. And that's like 30, 40 years ago. So, yeah, my old man. I bet you see a lot of these impalas down there, huh? Now it's at Washington, D.C. or Washington State. Oh, State, okay. So you're out there on the West Coast. Well, I right hear it's really beautiful out there. You just gotta be careful of the earthquakes, the mudslides, and the fires. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would love to actually see Washington, D.C., Washington State 
and Oregon and Portland and all that. Yeah, I, don't know, I would really like to see that sometime. Uh, I'm an old skunk. I'm very old. I'm 50, actually. But my wife keeps me young and I refuse to grow up, so... Oh, good, I got those points added on, so I didn't want to screw that up real bad. Like that. <laughs> if I would have did that with all those points hanging there, I probably wouldn't have gotten counted. One girl spied. There we go. I thought I shifted, I guess my thumb hit the downshift and the upshift button at the same time. I'm driving manual right now. I used to be a truck driver, or I used to drive semi trucks. Oh, you also have fours, so cool. You have three, or both one, two, and three. Because I only have three right now on the Xbox One. And I will get them. I will get one and two when I can. Xbox One, obviously, because I did have a 360, but it died of old age, and my one and two were off of that. So, but yeah, I'd love for the three. I really enjoy this. But hey, somebody gave me a copy of Motorsport Six or Seven. Yeah, I'll take it. No problem. Ah, wow. I think that's a Lotus in front of me. Let's see if I'm right. It might be one of those super hyper upper echelon cars that we very rarely see. Uh, do you enjoy Forza Horizon 3? I love it. I love how people can add their own races to it. It's always customizable. It's always changing. And I just love the cars in it. Now, I'm not really a super hyper car fan. I like the older cars myself. And yeah, there I go. I just wasted all those points. Yeah. There's a fail for you, Skunk. Oh, it's going to get up there. Oh, wow. What a wreck. No, I landed on all four tires. There you go. Let's see if I can actually make up the points. Make up the positions I lost. Eighth place, I don't know, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, it looks like you are. Uh, only because my channel is so new, hardly nobody knows I'm on, so. You know, it's either watch my channel or watch paint dry. I think a lot of people choose to watch paint dry. But hey, I appreciate all my watchers, I do. And I'm glad you're following me, so I do appreciate it. Well, I'm glad you think it's cool. Thank you. It makes me feel like I'm actually doing something right for once. And hey, if I get rich and famous and everything, I am streaming to thousands of people every day. You can say, hey, I've known that skunk even when he got started. He had nobody watching him, and I was the only one that watched. So that's something that you could wear proudly on your chest like a name tag. One thing I do have to do on this part of course right here is I stay out of the surf. Otherwise, the water will pull you towards the rocks, then you'll probably lose the, the race, the competition. So I've actually had that happen a lot. So Yeah, I do this every day, pretty much, whenever I can get some free time. Um, I have a very understanding wife, and when my daughter wants to play Xbox, she should face this or World of Tanks, which I also play. But I'm streaming this as something for me to do. But yeah, I do this every day. And if you add me as a friend on Xbox, you'll be able to see when I start streaming and when I come off. Actually, I do have a Patreon page as well, where if you want to join me in the race while I'm streaming, just donate a couple of bucks, and it'll tell you what to do on Patreon. I'll get word of it, and I'll invite you in. Then you could be famous with me, <laughs> which wouldn't be that hard, because you're probably the only follower right now. <laughs> so... What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy down the time, 14, 12, 252, 12, 252.
And next I'm going to collect the points and I'm going to start the Chrysler Valiant. So, yeah, I did not bad, you know, for fifth. For, um, yeah, screwing up that part and losing all my positions. But I, I did all right. I did okay. I'm not a professional. I got about the same racing ability as a drunk squirrel or your average house plant. So, I'm not like Don Joan Song or Mr. Fail Race himself. Those guys are incredible in this game. I can only hope to attain their level of racing ability. So let's see about the points I got. Ah, I do love that Impala. Okay, that car, that blue, that uh, yellow one, I believe that's called a Noble. And right here, if you look at perk bonus, you'll see 30,000 points. That's that perk XP that you get. Yeah, and after you get all your other perks done, you could add that perk to your score, and that's a third of your XP, and that helps. Yes, yeah, so I actually got myself up to level 465, believe that or not, in a month. That shows you how much I've been playing this game. Yeah, I'll take a Volvo Polestar, no problem. And a cheap spin, yuck. <laughs> Alright, but let me check out the next car. What I should do is I keep the stream going at two cars per stream. Cut it off for about five minutes. Then I start another one. Unless it's time to eat dinner. Time to spend time with the wife and daughter. Or something like that. Or I usually start racing in the morning. Or by that time I'm usually updating my videos per my tablet, per my YouTube. You know, same channel. Uh, double Stripe Racing. Kimono Skunk. Just... You know, watch them and tell me what you think. So let's go to the Chrysler next. The Chrysler Valiant. That's the Aussie hot rod that they have down there. The Aussie muscle cars, which I also like. What you want to do is, before you set up the event, you want to go here to progress. And see where it says skill shop. I'm not going to do the wheel spins just yet. I'll do those at the end of the next race. Go here to skill shop, press that, and do is right bumper button to skills, then follow my cursor up into the left. Click, unlock the perk, and that's going to give you three times the XP skill bonus points for each race. You have three races, so you can clear th your next three cars. So I have that clicked, and as you saw, that's almost a third of the XP that you get. So that's it's just giving you another third of XP to level up that much further. So I hope you got that. If not, just stop the video, rewind it, and play it all over again. You'll get it. Trust me on this. It helps. Okay, now that we're done that, we want to set up the event. I mean, I already did the championship on here, so that's all fine and good. Go here to exhibition. I actually made my own race. This is Horizon cars you could drive. They're all the Horizon cars in my garage as I have them. I don't have every single one. I have a good many of them though. What you want to do is go one, two, three to the right. And this is Don Johan Song's Goliath course. One lap. But look what happens when you press enter. You get your cars that you could race on the race. And not the stock ones from... Horizon the the car show. Oh yeah, I'll add you when I get done this stream. I'll add you. Um, yeah, I'll do that. No problem. So let's go down to Chrysler, and I was just telling Jerome I'll add him on Xbox when I get done. Let's see, and here we are. Lovely Chrysler Valiant Charger RT. Nice looking car. Looks a little bit different with the squared headlights, but that's how they had them down there. I like them. Those are like the Ford Falcons they have down there in Australia. Per Mad Max, the original movie. The four-door Falcons they use for the, the highway patrol and the two-doors that they use for the suits. Yeah, I know a little bit about them. Yeah, both. Yep. And um, if there's anybody else in the chat there besides Gerald, say hello, say hi, say how you doing, or say get off Xbox and take up knitting. I'll answer. All right, but here we go. All the cars are mainly stopped. I have little um, 
work done to them, you know, like spare suspension, brakes, and tires. Some of them might be all-wheel drive, some not. As long as the cars are really powerful and I can barely control them, that's when I add uh, all-wheel drive just to help me out with the course. Yep, everybody's going. The uh, Forza series for a couple of years now, but I had to take a two-year break because I had an Xbox 360, but it just died of old age and fell apart. So I had to wait, and my wife actually saw I was mopey and moody and sad all the time. She's like, "Come on, Scott, I gotta, I gotta get you something." So she ended up getting me an Xbox One, and I'm so appreciative of her. She's my wife. She's my best friend. Been married to her for. 14 years, best friends is 17, so, yeah. And now that I have my Xbox, I'm able to stream and make a bigger pool out of myself for every race. Even more people can watch now. <laughs> but you see, that's what makes my channel fun. I'm not a professional driver, and if I fail, everybody gets to enjoy it. You know, I'm the glasses half full, but getting refilled of iced tea kind of guy. And this car, I believe I didn't touch the transmission in it yet. I didn't put the race trans in it, so it's only in the four, the four speed tranny, not the six speed you would get if you put a race transmission in here. I didn't tune it. I did add some things from the garage, but I'm not a tuner. I don't know how to tune the suspension or anything like that, so I'm just winging it. Whatever car comes up, I race it. I race the Ariel Atom on here. I race the all-wheel drive at them. I race the Illumicraft um, dirt truck on here. You know, all those off-road cars I put on this course, I actually race them. They're on my YouTube channel and on my mixer. But you better hurry up and watch them because after 14 days, each video gets erased from mixer. That's why I'm saving them to YouTube. I wonder if this Valiant has a 6-cylinder in it or an 8-cylinder, because it's revving pretty high for an 8. It has that 6-cylinder that uh, rumble to it, I think. But it sounds good. If it's an 8, it's got to be a 97 and 8, I tell you that. I wish we were able to get more of these Aussie cars up here in America. I would love to have one. Even their station wagons down there were all high performance. I love that. I love it when a society openly opens their arms to muscle cars like Australians did. Of course, we had them here in America, but during the 70s, it was like a dry car in the muscle car age. My, my brother Mike had Camaros and GTOs. And what's my YouTube channel? It's called Double Stripe Racing as in double stripes and on the road or two stripes because I play as a skunk and that's my persona as you could say um, yeah double stripes racing on YouTube and my main channel is Kimono Skunk same as my name on here that channel as well but that channel has all kinds of zaniness all kinds of music all kinds of racing stuff on there yeah Yeah, I just started this little project of mine about a month ago, so that's why nobody knows about me, and you know, I'm not quite the laughing stock of the racing world yet. But hey, that's the way I like it, so I welcome the challenge. Oh, it's going to get up late. Oh, I don't know how I made it through that. Whoa, get on the Wow. Oh, well, that was close. <laughs> okay, I'm actually able to breathe again. <laughs> hey, everybody in channel, I can see there's at least two people in there. I don't know their names, though, but I know Gerald was one of them. But if you want to say hi, please do. Yeah, I only had 16 videos on Double Stripe Racing so far. It's my dedicated racing channel for all my Forza 3 vids. I said I just started the channel 
and I've just been doing a lot of downloads ever since I started, so. I mean, I'm not like Phil Racer, Don Joe, Juan Song, who's got like hundreds of them, but like I said, the stream is just in its infancy, so, oh well, good, thank you. You'll be getting a message every time I do something. I do appreciate it. Yeah, almost 145 mile an hour on this charger is pretty impressive. Yeah, one of my bucket list things to do is actually go down to Australia or go to Japan sometime. Just to say I did. I would love to sometime. But yeah, after I get off this stream, I'll start uploading uh, both videos I did today of my Chevrolet Camaro SS uh, cars I just raced, which is actually being updated right now. Then I'll update this one on YouTube as soon as I'm able to, which will be on a little bit later on tonight. Not really long. Shouldn't be a whole long, uh, long wait. Yeah, usually the way it is with these racers on here, they'll catch you and they might pass you on the straights, but then if you got your car set up for handling, you can catch them in the corners. That's why I usually rely on to try and win my races, if I'm able to actually win them. But I, I try, I give my best, give my good shot, you know. Yeah, I might do more racing tonight if my daughter decides not to play tanks tonight. But yeah, I'll do more racing. Do more stream, streaming, racing, you know, general nonsense. I'm just going down the list of what I have. I have about 200 cars in my garage. I'm going to take each one of them down here on Goliath itself. So, slide that big old girl. Come on. There you go. Well, yeah, I'll do more racing. But that matters to the boss, the wife, and to the daughter. If they want to play because I've been doing this all day, you know, if they want to have a chance to play, I'm all for it. You know, hey, they get to experience the Xbox as much as I do. I don't mind it. I love it when my daughter plays. She's a real hoot on uh, uh, World of Tanks. <laughs> I can't sing Havana. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not a very good singer. <laughs> I'm more worse singer than I am a driver. So I I know my limitations, and singing is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky that tree was a breakaway behind that sign. <laughs> It's going to be a pretty wicked left-hand turn. Oh, boy. There we go. Doing the donuts again. just put up there so I'll just leave that one be. And you don't have to use your real names on here if it's possible. I'll catch up to him. I'm not worried.
We're coming up with two of my favorite turns of the game. This one, and this one coming up. I think I might have missed that one, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, big wreck. Here we go. Big fail there. How's that for impressive? <laughs> Hey, Soul. How you doing, my friend? Soul's another one of my friends that actually I know from tanks. World of Tanks. Glad to see you on here, Soul Hijacker. He's actually one of my friends from Great Britain. Gerald, it's okay if you're here to watch everything, but uh, just keep things about the chat and, and don't go trolling off or anything like that. I'm doing okay, Soul. I'm doing all right. I'm enjoying Forza 3, Forza Horizon, and I'm actually working on. Oh, oh God, that was painful. <laughs> I'm trying to do good. <laughs> But yeah, that, that one hurt. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm working on a little project here about racing in Forza, putting on YouTube, and making a uh, Patreon page about it. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I saw you were tanking earlier, I think, right? Were you playing tanks earlier? Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry, I'm not going to ignore you or anything. Because if I were to ignore you, I'd be a poor host. I'm just keeping the chat going, keeping the video going, so it's fine. Besides, if I fail, it's part of the video. That's what makes it fun. I'm not really doing bad in the charger now, you know? Just I had that one wreck where I hit the tree, that's all. But yeah, I do have a Patreon page for Soul, if you want to check it out. It's Double Stripe Racing. Like the two stripes on the road here, or the two stripes of the skunk. And that's my channel. You can start donating from a dollar on up. Donate once, donate twice, donate to your heart's content. I don't mind. Oh, you got Fortnite. How do you like that game? I see it on stream. It looks really interesting, but I'm not really good at those shooter games. No, in my luck, I'd go up against an eight-year-old and hit me with a headshot every five seconds. But it looks like a really good game. Yeah, it is a good game. I, I watch streams of it here on Mixer. Um, are you chat? Are you watching my Mixer right now? Are you chatting in there? Okay, here comes the beach party. It's gonna be a little hard. Yeah, I'd love to play it sometime if I could actually afford it.
But yeah, if I have a chance of getting other games, yeah, I'll stream those too, besides Forza. I'll stream Motorsports, I'll stream Forza. But I don't think I'll stream Minecraft. I still have no idea what that game's about. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Charl. Welcome back. Well, it's free to download. Okay. I'll check it out. But Fortnite or uh, Minecraft? I still don't know if I can do Minecraft, though. Yeah, I know you could reach. <laughs> My daughter's in the background there. All right, looks like I did pretty good with the charger. <laughs> Almost 16 minutes. I said if I didn't have those that one major wreck into the tree, but um, okay, it's Fortnite to download. Well, I'll do that right after I get off of here. Can you copy down that time? 15, 57, point. Yeah, there's a point there. 024. Now, if you get somebody that actually knows what they're doing with the Chrysler Charger I just raced, um, I guarantee you I'll be able to knock off a couple seconds or maybe even a minute off the time here. Like I said, I'm just grabbing at the car, throwing it out there on the track and see how well I do. Let's see about the points I got here. What I'm going to do is, after this car gets done loading up all the points... <laughs> okay. Um, like I said, I'll show you the points I get right here. That perk bonus, that's exactly a third of your XP that you get. So they're giving that to you. You may as well take it. Alright, let's see what kind of car you get. Yes, I will take a Lexus LFA. I would like that. Uh, 25 grand, not bad. Mm, not bad. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the stream short. Give me about 5-10 minutes. I'll start downloading Fortnite. I'll give that a shot. Why not? I'll try it. What, Fortnite? Yeah, it's my daughter here in the background. She's 13. She loves to game and stream as well, so... Well, you hate my streaming, right? <laughs> yeah. We're all joking about me here. But yeah, I'll download Fortnite as long when I get off of here. So, yeah, I'll give you a, um, I'll start downloading it, and I'll be back. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. If you want, stay in chat while I go offline. You guys can stay there in chat. I don't mind. But uh, give me like a five-minute, ten-minute break, and I'll be back. 